two years ago in 2012, we were here presenting our strategy to you guys. So two years later, there's been some changes to the field, and we just like to say that initially when we had presented to you, we had mentioned that we were going to push CMS as hard as possible to get this reimbursed. And we did that. We provided all the data that we have in our system through V8, through Kaiser. So I just want to say, you're welcome, Medtronic. You're welcome, Independent. <laughs> you're welcome, GE. <laughs> So what's changing here? This, this actually has played directly right into our strategy. This is what we anticipated from the beginning, and that's exactly what's happened. We've already signed a 10-year partnership with the VA hospital. We're continuing to work with them and collecting data from them. Uh, so keep in mind that we have two more years of robust data that our system works, and it works well. It delivers the outcomes that these guys are looking for. When we first came in, there were 50,000 patients that were in our group. Uh, we've expanded our... Uh, our offering after that point revised our strategy based on the great feedback we received. What do we need to do? We need to protect our ground. We have strong IP in the systems that we've built, so we need to aggressively defend them. There are going to be a lot of market players coming into, this, into the system, and we need to make sure that none of them is infringing on what we have built and the groundwork that we have laid. Uh, we're going to continue revising our system. We're going to build a next generation system. We have the outcome data from all the studies we've been doing, plus two more years of data that proves that our system works, and it reduces costs. It increases access. Uh, so now we're taking that, and that is our selling proposition to all those providers that are looking to provide the system. Um, the intermediate facility, so we talked about this last time in 2012 when you came in here, we said uh, we need somebody to be able to provide that, that service in the middle. And over the two years, we've built a facility that's staffed with excellent nurses, and now they have two years of experience to be able to provide uh, the experience in facilitating remote visits and providing the kind of care you can provide through the system. What we've decided to do um, in agreement with Independa is actually to sign a three-year exclusive agreement starting in 2014 um, that's going to be an exclusive licensing agreement for their technology so that we can address that gap in our portfolio. It'll fill a need for us and we think it's really going to allow us not to revise our existing strategy that we had at the end of round one fundamentally. We think if anything it's going to be strengthened and it's also going to address your point earlier about just how are we going to go after new hospitals. We think the bur it's, we've got the burden of proof. We've got the data to prove it. We've got VA and, and uh, Kaiser in terms of hospital systems that we believe are not too far out from where hospitals want to be in 2014 that exist today. And we think that if the, the TCO calculations are right and the business cases are right and the numbers are good, we think that it's going to be a sound argument to be persuasive to hospital administrators and, and folks that make these decisions.